This is Joseph Drust, and welcome back to another episode of Ask ZBrush. So we had a question sent in asking, is there a way to have ZBrush not rename the first subtool on save? So to start off, I just have ZBrush loaded up, and I just have the demo soldier here loaded in. And the question is asking about the first subtool in your subtool list being renamed when you save a file out. So as an example of this, if you go to tool up here and click save as, and just open up a save dialog here, and I type in say demo soldier 05 and then click save, you'll see that after this file has saved, it has renamed the top subtool here to demo soldier 05. So let's say I have a file and I need to keep the naming consistent for say using merging or maybe just exporting. So is there a way to save a file inside of ZBrush and not have it rename the top subtool? So if you're saving a ZTL file through the tool palette, it is always going to rename the top subtool. However, if you save a project file through the file menu over here, it will not rename the top subtool in your tool because it's going to save all the tools that are currently loaded. So let's go back over here to the demo soldier and let's just rename him. So we're going to rename him back to demo soldier again. And now let's save a project file this time instead of a tool file. So I'm going to the file menu over here and open this up and I'm going to click save as. And this time I'm going to save a new project file. So I can save this now as demo soldier 05 and click save. And this will save a ZPR file or a ZBrush project file. And you'll notice that my subtool has not been renamed. So if you absolutely must keep your naming consistent on your subtools, saving a project file will allow you to do that. But if you save a tool file through save as over here, it will rename the top subtool based on the file that you have saved. Now, if you absolutely must save a ZTL or a tool file instead of a project file, you can always append a dummy tool to your scene. So in the subtool palette here, I can go and click insert and then just grab say a polymesh 3D star and just insert that underneath the demo soldier there. And then I can take this polymesh 3D star and just move it up so it's the top tool here. And now when I save this file by going to tool save as, and I can save this now as say demo soldier 06, You'll see that it has renamed that PolyMesh 3D star, but it has kept the naming of the demo soldier. So you could also just append in a dummy tool and just have it live on the top of your subtool palette. And then when you perform that ZTL or tool save out of ZBrush, it will rename that subtool instead of your other tools. So to recap, there are two potential options. You can first just save a project file by going to the file menu here and clicking save as. And this will save a project file and will not rename any of the tools that are in your tool directory over here. Or you can just append in a dummy subtool and then make sure that subtool is on the top of your subtool stack here. And then now when you save that file, it'll rename that top subtool instead of affecting the other tools in your list. So if you have any other questions related to ZBrush pipelines or processes, please use the hashtag AskZBrush on Twitter. Happy ZBrushing.